Drive Timers, welcome to another episode of Drive Time with Alec. I'm Alec. Really fast talking this morning. Hey guys. Yeah. What is it today? Tuesday. Great day. Awesome day. Best day of the week in my opinion. Because Monday you're like, yes, this is the best day. And then Tuesday you're like, I get to do it again? And there's still three more days of work after this one? Yes! Yes! All right, so look, yesterday I screwed up. I screwed up because uh, Derek sent me a topic and I went back into the Facebook messages and I looked at the very first topic he ever sent me. So, not the most current topic. So today we're gonna talk about that one. Um, if you'd like me to talk about anything, please go ahead and uh, put it in comments. But I do have a, co a comment to make first, a point or a uh, factoid for you all. So, um, I promised a lot of people that uh, my birthday's coming up this month. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Happy birthday. So, um, I am going LARPing. It's going to happen. I haven't figured out how yet. I am putting that into the universe and hoping that the universe comes around and shows me how to make that a reality. So, that will happen. And there will be video footage of that, I guarantee you. And uh, please, uh, if you're into LARPing, or if you know somebody who LARPs, or if you, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, first of all, just stop listening. Just, just unsubscribe, because how could you not know the greatest single creation, you know, that mankind has ever made? So, it's gonna happen. If you're into it, we're we're doing it. You're gonna come, you know. And if and if you're my friend and you're invited to my birthday, you're coming. Steve Duggar, I have your outfit all picked out. You're gonna be a barbarian. Yeah, it's a shocker, right? Big like bear rug, and you're gonna have an axe, and that's what you're gonna do. And I'm gonna make you have cornrows, please please. You know what, can you please post on Steve Duggar's wall if you're friends with him, if you're friends with him, that I, I offered to pay for his cornrows, I will have them, I will pay for someone to make his hair into cornrows, and then I offered to pay him on top of that, 100 cash, to have it for one week. And it has to be maintained, you can't just lose it, that doesn't, that's lame, but it has to be maintained, he has to sleep in a do-rag, Hundred bucks plus the plus cornrows for one week. It doesn't have to. That's not going to ruin your hair. It falls out, and then he'll have his glorious locks of hair still. I don't understand. If you think that's a good idea, please repost this drive time on his wall. Just go to Steve Duggar, Stephen Duggar, repost it on his wall. Done deal. All right. Back to Derek's topic, the real one that he wanted me to talk about. Which, when I was talking about, you are what you do. That whole drive time, right? If you haven't seen that one, then who cares? You don't really watch them in order anyway. But I made a whole drive time about you are what you do. If you look and analyze your life and see what you do on a regular basis, that's who you are. A lot of people don't like that. It's like, I don't like that interpretation of who I am. Well, it's probably because you don't like what you do. Running a yellow light, totally made it. So he goes, well, what about, you know, how, how much do you have to do to be that person? You know, what, what extent, you know, if I just do one thing over and over again, am I going to go crazy? You know, he mentioned no work and uh, all work and no play and... Da, 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 and he just said, you know, what, what, where's the line there, or how are you talk, you know, give me more on that stuff. So I go, okay, I'll give you a little bit more. You know, and at the end of the day, it's just really simplistic. So that whole concept of now, by the way, if you don't believe you are what you do, then that's fine. Just take the, the you can have that belief, and I'm not judging. It's all good. Um, I'm just saying that there might be a reality that, that that is true, and that you might have to somehow deal with that thought and be okay with it. So. If you are what you do, then that's the that's the deal. If you play all the time, then you're a playful person. You know, if you forsake uh, work for play, then you're a playful person. If you work all the time and all you do is work and work and work and you never play, well, then you're not a very playful person and you're probably not super fun to be around. That's okay. Just, you're not going to really find, the, the playful people are going to be like, I don't, this guy never takes a break. I don't know, I don't like that. And you're not going to have that opportunity. So, the, rea the real reality comes down to who do you want to be and take take that picture of you are what you do take that thought and <coughs> that's awkward sometimes you cuff up stuff in the morning sorry but we're live so we're going to keep going thanks for staying with me so you are what you do take that little that little view of the world and just just lay it over your life and analyze yourself and go am i really what i do and do i like that um if you're if you don't think you should be that way that's a whole different conversation. If you like look at your life and go, well, I, I should probably work more, work harder. Okay, well, maybe. Do you want to be a hardworking person? I mean, not, not good or bad, I'm just commenting. I made it sound like you're like, you're not a hardworking person. 
but no, maybe you're like, no, I don't want to be a hardworking person. I want to work enough to have a quality of life that I enjoy, and that's all I want to work. Great. You know, it's like, that, that's not a bad thing at all, as long as that's authentic and that's who you want to be. That's, that's rock on. See, most people have this idea of like, I want to drive an Aston Martin, and I want to be this and this and this, and, but then, then, then they look at their life, and they take inventory, and they don't work. It's like, well, it's not going to happen. You don't, you don't work very hard, so what are you going to do? So anyway, you know, I, I, that's only a little bit deeper. I got sidetracked on Steve Duggar's cornrows. God, those would be so glorious. I don't know why he's not going to make that happen. He better. For my birthday, cornrows. That's the best present you can give me. But take a look at your life if you are what you do. So if you don't like what you're doing, then change it. If you do like what you're doing and you're okay with it, fine. If other people don't like it, tough. Find new friends or figure out why they don't like it. Chances are they're feeling bad about themselves or something like that. You know, most people get upset when I talk about CrossFit all the time because they, they I, I, I think they're just upset because they don't want to work that hard. Okay? Totally cool. Don't, don't make me, make me, don't let me make you feel bad. And vice versa, right? So if somebody's judging your lifestyle and you're like, no, that's, I'm good with this. I don't need to drive an Aston Martin. I like my job. I like the, the amount of effort I put into it. I'm good with it. I like how much time I get to play and I'm rocking. Great. And that'll change. Tomorrow could be different. Next week could be different. Life could happen and you could be different. You could have a kid. Well, my priorities changed. I know very much about that. All right. That was a little spastic drive time today. You're welcome. But if you're in for LARPing, hit me up. If you're in for seeing Steve Duggar in cornrows, post this on his wall. Let's just post a bunch of drive times on his wall. I want to see like at least six. Have a good day.